Now that is a monster lionfish. These are the guys that are eating all the juvenile lobster, grouper, snappers. How'd they get here? They got here, they crossed the Gulf Stream. They believe they got out as in egg form from people's uh, private aquariums. And they are, they're breeding at such a rapid rate that they're, uh, they found them as far south as uh, the Dominican Republic now. And they are voracious eaters with no real enemies here. So they are breeding and uh, repopulating at a massive rate. A terrible, terrible problem for our fishing industry. Carks kill everyone you see because they have no predators. Yeah, you know, the barbs are poisonous. So if, you, if you get pricked by the, that point, it uh, will swell your hand up, can give you a fever, and it feels like you're being burned with a match. It is excruciating pain, and uh, there's nothing you can do for it. Take a lot of aspirin, I guess, but uh, it really is an awful toxin. They actually taste like a snapper. Uh, very white meat, and uh, just cleaning them, you've got to be pretty. You've got to be pretty good. <laughs> you've got to be very, very careful. And what people are doing now is using garden clippers to cut off the spines uh, and uh, leather gloves. So they're we'll. Uh, they're that dangerous. They're that dangerous. Wow. It's that painful. Four or five years ago, people started saying they spotted lionfish and everybody's like blowing them off as being crazy. And then when it was discovered that lionfish had been introduced into the, to the Bahamas waters, it was kind of like, well, this is pretty cool. This is a great photo op and they're beautiful animals and this, that, and the other. We had no idea that, that um, these animals multiply rapidly. They, they seem, seem to have no natural predator they eat their weight a day in fish, and suddenly this, this is a major, major concern. And now it's not just the Bahamas now. They've, they've been spotted in, in uh, Florida, up the east coast of uh, the United States, and, and down into Cuba, even. Once they're sexually mature, um, they can reproduce every 30 days and the female lays a gelatinous egg mass and that larvae is dispersed and that contains about up to, up to 30,000 eggs. So it's sort of difficult to mitigate the population when they're doubling so quickly. But here, Bahamians are sort of unfamiliar with them as a food resource and uh, the government is trying to, to promote and educate people on the fact that they can be eaten. They're very tasty fish, uh, really good white meat, but the problem is um, people aren't that aware of them. We're considering everything from, from putting a bounty on them and trying to kill them off. I mean, at this point, nobody thinks they're going to be eradicated, but certainly you can control the, uh, uh, the growth of the, the, the numbers in the Bahamas.